instead of the academic portion of it. Because what can happen with, with sports is you can get injured. I, I had a career in the knee injury. And so I couldn't play basketball no more. And I put all my eggs in the basketball basket because I thought that that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. And I broke my kneecap and I couldn't play anymore. But up until that point, I had never thought about what type of career I wanted to have, what I wanted to be uh, when I got older. And so I was 25 years old with a broke kneecap and I had no clue what I wanted to do in life. 25 because I figured that I would play basketball for the rest of my life and that's not true. And so you guys have to uh, get serious about education and put your best foot forward in the classroom uh, because it's important. Uh, like I said, I had uh, even my coaches in college, they told me all you had to have was a 2.0. And what's a 2.0? A C. A C minus. So y'all said y'all want to be good but the thing is, you have to want to be great. And you got to want to be great, not just on the court or on the football field or on the baseball diamond. You got to want to be great in everything you do. So that means you got to want to be great in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Because we know, you look at Father Time caught up with Kobe. Now he's about to hang him up and he can't play anymore. So now what is it that he's going to do after basketball? What is life after basketball for him? And you guys got to begin to think about that stuff now because it happens so quick. I didn't foresee me breaking my kneecap. I had just signed a contract to play overseas for $100,000. And it was two weeks for me before it was time for me to leave and go overseas, and I broke my kneecap. And it changed my whole life because I wasn't ready. I didn't prepare myself. And so I ask you guys today to begin to think about what it is that you want to do outside of being a basketball player, a baseball player, a football player. What is it that you want to do? Was it, what is it that you see that you like, that you would do it with all your heart for free? And that's what you chase after. That's what you want to study when you go, to, go off to college. Because my hopes, and I think everybody in this room's hope, is that you guys will, will go on and further your education and go on to college to become great young men and women of this community to come back and do like me and Aaron and William and the other people that are here and give back. Because South Bend is not a bad place. We do have some bad people here, but South Bend is not a bad place. And the violence will stop when we make it stop. And so that, that comes with accountability. And it's hard for you to try to tell somebody to stop doing something when you're doing it yourself. At the end of the day, it's hard to do that. And so I, I challenge you guys. Uh, I want all of you, all of the youngsters to stand up. And I want you guys to say this thing with me. I want you to repeat it. And I want you to say it loud. So I need all of the youngsters to stand up. It ain't going to kill you. I need y'all to say that I am. I can't hear y'all. I am. That's still too. I'm saying, if you want to be great, it's going to require something of you. That little week. I am. That's not going to get you nowhere because life is going to take you and life going to be real mean to you. And if you got a small voice, life is going to run you over. And so I need you guys to talk with your big boy voice and your big girl voice. So I am, I am great. great. I will, I will be, great be great in everything that I do, in, everything that I do. in everywhere that I go. I am, I am great. great. I, will I will be great. Be great. Everywhere, Everywhere I go. I go. And, everything and everything that I do. do. Y'all need to understand that good is the enemy of great. Don't just want to be good. There's a lot of good people. There's a lot of good basketball players. But the great ones separate themselves. So it's going to require you to do a little bit extra. So good is the enemy of great. If you don't remember nothing else tonight, remember that. Good is the enemy of great. If you want to be great, you're going to have to do some extra stuff. That means you're going to have to spend a little bit more time in the gym or on the football field or in the classroom study. I wish that somebody would have told me the stuff that I know today back then because I wouldn't have had the struggles that I've had in life because I chose to take the back door, take the easy route, and not be the best student that I could be. And so for you football and basketball players and baseball players and cheerleaders and doctors and lawyers, I want you guys to, to every day you wake up, every day, 
Push yourself. Push yourself. I know sometimes it get older, like he said, mom nagging and all of that. But you got to want this and you got to do this for yourself. Thank you.